This is amazing. What if we can integrate Langchain with your OpenAI Assistance API? To create Assistance API, we have four different steps. But what if we can combine all together into one? Assistance API with the Langchain and making it simplified. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Langchain with Assistance API. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence in my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. In Langchain, there are functions which simplifies our work of creating an assistant. Rather than creating an assistant, then a thread, then a message, and then running it, you can do all these things in one function. To code that, first make sure you install Langchain and OpenAI in your virtual environment and click enter. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and click enter. Now in your file from langchain.agents.openassistant, import OpenAI assistant runnable. This is the function which can make our work easy. Now using that OpenAI assistant runnable, I'm going to create an assistant, name Langchain, instruction you are a personal math tutor and the tools we are using it code interpreter. Model is GPT-4 Turbo. Next, output equals assistant.invoke. There you ask your question, content, what's 10 minus 4 raised to the 2.7. Now we are going to print the output by looping through the output. Now we're going to run this code. In your terminal, python assistance langchain.py. That's where my code is and click enter. Now you got the answer here. The result is approximately minus 32.2. Langchain did all the hard work for us and gave us the answer in an easy way. Much more than that. What if we can add our function calling ability here? Now we're going to add function calling to this. In your terminal, pip install duckduckgo hyphen search and click enter. This duckduckgo search package will help us to search the internet. So we're going to add browsing the internet facility using custom function calling in our assistant. So first from Langchain tools import duckduckgo search run. Next, we are defining the list of tools that is DuckDuckGo search run. Then we are passing this tool to this list and we are mentioning that as agent equals true. This does all the magic. The agent feature in the assistant will be capable of handling all the requires action status. If you see the original steps for adding a function calling ability, you need to have all these five steps, but the agent feature will solve that issue. Now, instead of invoking, we are importing from Langchain agents import agent executor. Then agent executor equals agent executor and you're passing assistant as the agent and the list of tools. Next output equals agent executor dot invoke. Previously, we did assistant dot invoke. Here we are doing agent executor dot invoke. And you're asking a question, what's the weather in London today divided by 2.7? Finally, we are printing out the results. Now I'm going to run this code. Python assistance langchain.py and click enter. All the five steps will be happening behind the scenes. Now we got the answer. Here's the content. What's the weather in London today divided by 2.7? The output, the current weather in London is six degree. And if it's for Celsius, this is the output. And if it's for Fahrenheit, this is the output. As simple as that. You integrated all the five steps in literally two bits of code. One, you're creating a stint with as agent, and then you're using agent executor. As simple as that. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.